everyone, I'm Sarah, and in this webinar, we're going to be learning about the animal noises that you hear at night. There are a lot of nocturnal animals here in Missouri, and the spring and summer months are some of the best times of year to hear them. But first, what is a nocturnal animal? A nocturnal animal rests during the day and is active at night. Some animals use the dark to hide from predators, while others use the dark to sneak up on their prey. Other animals, such as amphibians, are active in the evening to take advantage of the cooler temperatures and conserve water. Some nocturnal animals in Missouri include flying squirrels, foxes, opossums, bats, snakes, frogs and toads, cicadas, moths, owls, and mockingbirds. Did you hear that? Rabbits and many bats have oversized ears that allow them to capture more sound. Try this. Cup your hands behind your ears, making them bigger. Are you able to hear better? Try this at home on a quiet evening to see if you can hear some of our nocturnal friends. Let's give it a try. With your grown-up, head outside at night, cup your ears, and listen for the sounds. What did you hear? Listen again. I'll give you a clue. There are two animals you can hear in this video. They both like to hop, but one is a bug and the other is an amphibian. Do you know what the animals might be? It's gray tree frogs and field crickets. Listen again. The crickets called the entire time while the frogs called on and off. Now listen to a different video of just the field crickets. Hear the difference? Now let's listen for a completely different animal. What did you hear this time? Let's listen again. Any guesses? It's a barred owl. You can identify a barred owl's call by the pattern of hoots it makes. It sounds like they are saying, who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? Let's listen again. Now that you know what these animals sound like, make it a habit to listen for them at night. Now let's play a game. I'm going to play a Missouri frog call and you have to guess what it sounds like. What do you think spring peepers sound like? Spring peeper calls sound like bells ringing. Let's try another one. What do you think green frogs sound like?
Green frogs sound like plucking a rubber band. What do you think western chorus frogs sound like? Western chorus frogs sound like fingers on a comb. What do you think Blanchard's cricket frogs sound like? Blanchard's cricket frogs sound like pebbles clinking together. Try this at home. Gather the materials and see if you can create your own frog calls. But why do they call in the first place? It's all about finding a mate, really. Barred owls will call to each other to establish their location and find each other. Gray tree frog males will call in order to attract a female. Shorter calls are less attractive, as well as calls that go on for too long. A perfectly medium length call is the most attractive to females. Male crickets, on the under other hand, make their chirping sound by rubbing the edges of their forewings together. Their call attracts females and repels other males. It can be pretty loud. To make your backyard more nocturnal animal friendly, try some of these activities at home. First, invite all kinds of nighttime creatures to your home by including a water feature in your backyard, like a pond or a bird bath. Next, if you want to invite an animal family to your neighborhood, you can get help from an adult and build your own owl or bat house. Building plans and instructions can be found online. And don't forget, you can always check out the sights and sounds of Missouri nightlife by stepping out into your backyard. Remember to cup your ears to listen for sounds. The calendar shown here is from the Missouri Department of Conservation and tells you when all nocturnal animals are most active. Check out the link below for PDF access to this calendar. And that concludes our webinar. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Stay safe and happy exploring.